LP injection molding. A very interesting story, maybe the future of vinyl records. Everything starts with this. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. And in fact, today we are indeed going to talk about vinyl reproduction. Actually, it's more correct to say LP reproduction. And everything starts with this LP. Actually, it starts with the author of this LP, Daniel van der Veen. He is a Dutch fellow who follows me on my channel. He wrote me, he said he produced this record, he created, he played and recorded this record by his own during the lockdown, so 2020, I believe. And he actually uh, realized one of his dreams, to make a vinyl record, his own record. And the curious thing, apart being excellent music, I highly recommend this, not because he sent me a free copy, because it is great music. Congratulations, Daniel really and the cool thing he already highlighted this actually in his email and written note that came along with the record and it also appears here the key of this uh, video you are watching today green vinyl records so it got me curious i must admit that i knew nothing about it i went online and i started to do some research so what is the novelty here? The novelty is that uh, a new series, a new branch of production, mainly based here in Europe, of LPs, of records, is being made through injection molding versus pressing. That's the big difference. Now, we must remember that uh, back in the days, from the 60s all the way to the 80s, we did have injection molding in a few cases using polystyrene. Uh, which was mainly used actually for 45s and you can recognize them uh, actually you can also recognize them these new productions as we're going to see in a few secs so what happened well a dutch company simcom which is mainly uh, dedicated to cd manufacturing together with other seven manufacturers seven companies they agreed to create this new type of vinyl this new type of record actually which is called, in the end, it, was, it got its own name, Green Vinyl Records, thanks also to a European fund. So they had a, a good amount of money to invest in this and see if it could take place, it could take over, if it's something that the world is interested. I think it's very interesting. I want to say this right from the start. So let's take a look at one Green Vinyl record I have here. And I must admit that there is a difference. Now, immediately you can see, I think you can see it from home, from the camera, that the surface is very shiny and very dark at the same time. And uh, I don't know, when the light hits it, it does make a different, a different effect. In fact, I'm sure that I have something else done this way, only that I don't know what it is, because I had this impression of saying, hmm, oh, strange, look how shiny and black it is. Oh, and also the rim. That's one of the main points to know how to recognize this type. Also the, the old polystyrene types. When you have a flat edge, okay, because pressed records are always going to have a, a little um, pointed edge, we could say, okay. This instead is flat, practically. I think you can see it. I hope you can see it. Believe me, if you don't, it's flat. Plus, the label is not, once again, pressed, but it's uh, sticked on. It's applicated. In fact, those old 45s and pr probably these in the future are going to start to bubble up. And you can, you can recognize them a little bit. I mean, if you look them closely, they're not perfectly adherent to the surface of the record. But apart from that, all the rest is very much... Uh, record you, you would mis easily be mistaken with with a normal vinyl well actually let's try to take a look at uh wait i'll put this here a sec afterwards we'll listen a little snippet 
just to put a vinyl up close to it a normal record i just grabbed before let's see if this can be caught on camera okay i don't know how i'm gonna hold now two records let's see let's do it this way okay one and two can you see a difference try to catch the light here no yes well there is there is trust me this is much more matte uh less evident here the grooves appear to be much more deep and precise okay let's put it back so what is inside the records what are they made of not vinyl so i found a company that was talking about polycarbonate which is the base of cds and green vinyl which is mainly talking about pet pet polyethylene in fact we are talking about most probably the same thing now green vinyl records they just say they're using polyethylene the other company as i said is talking about polycarbonate and if you look at them afterwards i'll show you another one they are practically identical actually they are identical so i'm sure we're talking about pc slash pet which is polycarbonate polyethylene there there is this compound where they use both and i'm sure they do because doing it completely polycarbonate it's pr practically very very difficult in fact it this the idea comes uh, the molding the injection mold idea comes from the laser disc production which clearly is polycarbonate just made out of like normal cds so that's very interesting building up on that technology they developed this these seven brands together with the the Simcom. so let's take a look at these others besides green vinyl records if you take a look at discogs and you put green vinyl records 20 30 records come out very difficult to find uh not very well distributed uh, it was kind of hard to find and the, the the artists aren't that renowned it's something just about the start okay it started but it's very slowly there are some famous reissues of famous uh, artists like um i remember blonde redhead or um also some blues guys i mean there are a few releases that could be considered more popular but for now it's dutch music or other uh, musicians not that famous there's also an addition by uh, a famous rock group the the lizard king the gustard lizard king i don't remember exactly <laughs> actually somebody uh, told me to listen to them and i saw in australia they have this completely green environment friendly edition because that's clearly the big thing here before jumping into that i'll show you the releases of this other producer who is doing these black lake so we have these two recently released records made by them okay nice decent this one is a little more piano music this is a little more pop daniels are the best i must admit so let's take a look at the cons and the pros let's start by the pros now first of all i must admit that they declare that the grooves are better defined why is this because if you use injection injection molding and you're not using a pressing type of methodology the stamper in the in the press wears out after a few hundreds uh, of, of, of records of pressings you can use it all the way up to 1500 2000 records even more sometimes unfortunately but clearly when you surpass 500 there's there's starting to be a degradation so you never know what what what, what record you bought i mean you know, oh well you can look at the in the dead wax clearly you can understand that from the matrix uh, the run out matrix when you're a little more expert you can you can find out at what point that was pressed but apart from that i mean the no, no, normal person on the street don't know maybe he's he got the last pressing and it sounds terrible while the first one is perfect that's fantastic so with this technique they say and it makes sense clearly you have a stamper uh, not a stamper a mold you, they have to create a mold and then they inject the pcpet uh, compound which uh, at least um, green uh, vinyl records they call it the ep080 compound in any case 
it's what I told you it is. They inject it and clearly you have a better penetration of the compound in the grooves of the mold and the wearing of it is much more slower meaning you can create you can mold several hundreds if not thousands of records practically without degradation only at the end but you can do many many more in respect to the classic traditional pressing type so this is the big point clearly for us audiophiles absolutely also because as we will see another good point here is that they have 65 percent less of energy spent to create records because they don't use steam uh, and all the rest is automatic uh, there's a, a a strong automization of the whole process so clearly if you don't have operators people working around this uh, and the, this type of uh, of creation of the, of the records it just drastically reduces the expenses from that point of view so that's also a good point because that will reflect also on the end on the final price tag of the record not now but if it takes if it, if it picks up it, it will in the, in the future clearly you're going to have a lot less toxic waste because a lot of people are focusing on the plastic of normal records but records we keep the records i mean it's i don't i don't see that many people tossing records in the sea so or in the environment it's rare but there are i mean clearly there are a lot of records when the the the, the ones that you can't play anymore you're gonna throw them away so there is an impact on, on the environment first of all and clearly there is a reduction on the toxic waste to make the stampers the traditional stampers here it would be much less uh, it isn't clear it isn't clear how they are making this molds at least i went on the website i went around in other uh, places where there was more info they don't speak that much about that part i'm I, I'm, I'm maybe it's it's printed maybe it's forged i i don't understand i hope somebody chimes in here if they know more or even the company itself it would be very helpful thank you so the green part that's why they call the green vinyl records even though maybe there's a little mistake there i would remove the word vinyl since there it's not vinyl anymore it's pet mainly polyethylene or polycarbonate in any case apart from that that's why they're, they're pointing a lot they're aiming on the green on the environment uh the the ecology so a lot of people are happy to to, to have a, a a minor footprint on the environment another good point that they greatly highlight in their videos and uh website is that the chain of production is much faster since we have so many records now that they're being asked to be produced there's a loop a long very long queue i mean in order to have your project printed and distributed it takes a long time now so they say that from the classic 12 16 weeks the production falls with uh, all the way down with two weeks very good if that is true wow congratulations that's a big help for the distribution and clearly the labels manufacturers the musicians themselves the faster the better obviously but we want quality always what are the problems well first of all as you maybe have understood i don't know what's happening with the molds i'm sure they clearly they are made from digital but I'm sure that if they want, they could make these molds from analog. But now clearly the whole thing is gonna be digital. So that's already uh, something turning us off, I know. This part of the label, not big fan of that. It's gonna be bubbling up in 10, 20 years. That's also downside. And the huge problem why, actually this is the main problem, why it's not picking up, so they say, is that the machines to do this injection molding you clearly you have to buy a new machine and put it there with other parts for the full automization is that they're extremely expensive extremely expensive and a lot of people have just invested in a pressing plant so it's going to be very hard to to see this distributed to, to to see it successful but it's starting it's starting 
And if I have to do a comment, I listen to these records, I must admit that the quality is there, okay? The solid quality is very good, no difference. Maybe in some passages, maybe I'm hearing some compression in the lower frequencies. This is just an impression, I'm not sure. I must admit, this it's kind of strange because I would need the same record on vinyl to make a true comparison. And that is also why I'm not gonna rip the tracks and let you listen to them because there's no point. I mean, comparing to what? We, we would need, once again, the, ver the vinyl version. Okay, so at this point, why not listen to something coming from Daniel? And I think that at this point, we are good to go. Thank you again for watching and remember that music is born analog. Not in this case, but maybe in the future. Bye. guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.